Chosen ones, where you are, 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 chosen ones is going to be well with you. I radiate love, peace, goodwill, good health, and all good things to you. Remember, in the presence of your enemies, a table will be set before you. And on that table, all life essentials are going to be on that table. You will lack nothing. You will need nothing. All right? Great. That is just by the way. If you are facing big challenge in life, this video is for you. All right? If you are not facing any challenge in life, this video is not for you. Okay? It's for people who are facing big challenge in life. Big, I mean. It's in caps and underlined. Right? Great. If you are facing big challenge in life this is telling you that you have a big destiny oh yes you have a very glorious destiny and that is why you are going through a big challenge in life when you are going through greater tribulation all right this is a sign that there is greatness inside of you all right the bigger the challenge the bigger the glory ahead of you all right this is not something where's to flatter you but remember this is god's way of doing this let me take you to the scripture in the scripture when god was taking the israelites out of captivity all right great to the promised land you remember the challenges they were facing on the way it wasn't easy. Their human nature almost failed them. To them, they were like, oh, Moses, why? Let, let us return. Let us go back to, to our captivity. It's better we are there and we get something to eat. Why do you bring us to this desert and look, um, we, we are going hungry. There is famine. There is this. There is that. Attack everywhere. All right. They even wanted to go back to that captivity because of the challenges that they are facing. All right, it's because of the promised land that is full of milk and honey. It is because there is a greater promise, a great destiny, a glorious destiny in front of them, ahead of them. That is why they were going through a bigger tribulation, a bigger challenge in life on their way, all right, to their promised land. Look, they even come to the extent where they have to confront the Red Sea. All right, confronting the Red Sea, there is no uh, passing by. How do you cross the Red Sea? It seems impossible, humanly speaking. When they look back, the um, the people, their enemies, okay, were coming after them. All right, to capture them. When they look side and side, there is no way. Well, where, where, wherever they tend to, there is no way. As a chosen one, you will come to a point in life where you will be confronted with an obstacle, with a challenge, with a tribulation, with whatever. All right? And you will look back, you will look front, you will look side and side. There is no way. The only way is to keep going anyway, no matter what. And that is when faith counts. All right? Great. So as the Israelites, they came um, in face to face with the Red Sea, all right, that is when they needed faith, okay. But glory be to God, it's because they are serving a living God, a God that saves and rescues, a God that makes a way where there seems to be no way, a God that is a miracle worker. The miracle worker has made a way for them because God is Yahweh, He is Yahweh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. So he made a way for them. He parted the Red Sea. All right? He parted the Red Sea for them because the people lifted up their faith, their prayer sword. Moses lifted up the mantle. That mantle is a prayer. It's a prayer sword. All right? So anytime you, you are confronted with a challenge and it seems there is no way, as a Christian, as a believer, as a chosen one, you don't have to shut your mouth. You have to confess what you believe. You have to confess 
how powerful your God is, knowing that God is going to make a way where there seems to be no way because he did it for some people and because he has done it for some people, he can do it for you. All right, you aren't any different. God loves you just as he loved Moses and the Israelites. God loves you just as he loved any of his apostles. God loves you just as he loves David. He loves you just as he loved Joseph. He loves you just as he loved Abraham. He loves you just as he loved Job. God loves you, all right? And if God see them true, for sure, for certain, he is going to see you through whatever challenge that you are facing in this life. I am telling you, chosen ones, all right? Great. So whatever challenge, whatever tribulation, whatever obstacle that you are going through in this life is an opportunity in disguise. It is a blessing. It's an opportunity telling you how great you are. You see, if you are weak, you are defeated, you can't handle it, you know, it's too much for you, all right? You think God will give you such a challenge? No, God will never give you a, such a challenge. If God knows for sure you are weak and you can't handle it, it is, it is too much for you. God will never do that, all right? You think you are weak, you can't handle it, and God has uh, designed you and placed you in that family full of witchcraft, full of evil, full of envy, jealousy, hate, has put you in that workplace and, you know, stuff. You think... Uh, God has done that accidentally by putting you in an environment that is full of obstacle, problems, tribulations, share, and there you think God has done that? No. No. God never makes mistakes. He knows he has designed you well and has put his own breath inside of you. The power he has to make things happen, he has put in such same power in you because he knows that greater is is, is he that is in you than he that is in the world, than your challenges. So God knows for sure that such a challenge you can face, such a family, you can be in such a family and you will overcome. God knows that you can be in such a relationship and you will overcome. God knows you, you're going to have such stubborn children and you are going to, I mean, overcome anyway, treat them in the way of the Lord. That is why they happen in your way. There are no accidents. God will not accidentally make that. God doesn't make mistakes. All right? God doesn't make mistakes. So you facing whatever you're facing, it is not a mistake. It is a blessing in disguise. This is an opportunity for you to look deeper, to dig deep, to look within you and figure out the power that is in you because there is power in you. I have given you power and authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all powers of the enemy and nothing by enemy shall harm you. All powers of the enemy to overcome all power. So he said in his word that greater is he that is in you. So that is the time you need to figure out that greater in, in you. So your challenges, the bigger challenges you're facing is an opportunity for you to dig deep, to look within you, to figure out that power that is within you. God never ever make mistake. And whatever you're going through, is not a mistake. That family you are in, is not a mistake. That husband you are with, is not a mistake. That wife you are with, is not a mistake. That children you have, is not a mistake. Whatever you situation you're going through right now, it is not a mistake. God never make mistake. I told you before that the force that created this universe is called a cosmos. And what is meant by that? Cosmos means order. So it means everything is happening in order, in divine order. On the outside, things may seem chaotic to the human eye, to the human point of view. It will seem that the challenge is, is big, tribulations here and there. But on a deeper side, on a, on a spiritual level, it is not happened by accident. It is happened by a reason. To every adversity challenge that you go through as a chosen one in life, there is an equivalent benefit. There is an equivalent advantage. All you need to do is to dig deep because that challenge is a blessing in disguise. I'm telling you, right? For good to be good, it must pass through finest fire. Look, gold is so precious, but look at where it is hidden. You have to dig deep. You have to dig dig, dig, dig the sand, the rocks, the water. You pass through the water tables, get the rocks and stuff, you know. And after getting it, passing it through fire, it is because it is so precious. 
You see, you are in that situation because God knows that you can overcome. God knows that he has empowered you for that. God knows that greater is he that is in you. God knows that he himself is very well in you and you can overcome it. And when you overcome it, he, God, is going to see you through and you will be able to comfort others, to inspire others, to motivate others. So whatever you're going through is preparing you for a leveling up in life. It is preparing you to become great influencer. It is preparing you to, to, to have that unprecedented favor on your life. All right? That is why you're going through uncommon challenges, uncommon persecution, uncommon tribulations in life. And you see, a bigger head needs to wear a bigger crown. You need to understand that. All right? Nothing is happening by accident. All right? So, don't be complaining. I can't take it anymore. I can't handle it. It's too difficult for me. It's too much for you. Yes, I know. I understand. It is too much for you. That is humanly speaking on human point of, of, of view. But your God is a living God. It's a God that saves and rescues. Why don't you confess your God? Why don't you look up to Daniel? Daniel was faced with, with tribulations, with people that conspired, that plotted against him. He was put in the lion's den. But in the lion's den, the favor of God was with him and shut the mouth of the lion. So in that family that you are being placed in, that is full of witchcraft spirit, that is full of the poly people, all right? That is the same as the lions then. But God is with you. Your God is a living God. God that saves and rescues. He will for sure see you through and your life is going to be a testimony. Your life is going you're going to be a role model for others in your family that they will look up to you and say, if uncle has overcome, if auntie overcame, if brother overcame, if sister overcame, then for sure I too will overcome. People will look up to you and they will be inspired by your story in that same family. And not only that, that your neighborhood, your society will look up to you. Your community at large will look up to you. Your neighbor your country Allah, will look up to you the world will look up to you all right and you think God um, will do that that will happen when you are a uh, born with, uh, with, with with golden spoon on your mouth with silver spoon on your mouth no it is when you are like this going through these challenges then you will figure out what is inside of you and when you came out of it you realize that mm, you are bigger than you think you are stronger than you think you are powerful than you think all right you'll be astonished you'll be amazed how great you are what the, the greatness that is inside of you and that is why you're going through what you're going through so count it all joy whatever you're going through right now as a chosen one it is a blessing in disguise and it is for a rising up of a new level in your life. It is for the divine favor and mercy of God to be upon you like never before, all right? What you're going through, it is to improve you. It is not to impair you. It is not to destroy you, but it is to craft you, all right? Yes, so that when you get to that throne, yeah, you will be a very finished and polished and seasoned person, a chosen one. All right, who knows what it takes to go through tribulation and what it takes to win the victory. All right, and you will understand people. If for you to be leader, you must go through from the scratch so that when you see others coming up, as they start speaking, you know what they've been through, you know what they are facing, and you understand them. And, 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 and you, you, you. You, 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 you empathize with them. Yes. Okay. So what you're going through, it is for your own good. All right. It is a blessing. Remember, no challenge, no success. The bigger your challenge, the bigger your success, the bigger the destiny. All right. Great. There is greatness inside you. You can handle it. You can overcome. You are a warrior. You are here to conquer. You are not here. Bye. See you in my next video. I'm out for now.